What did you do that for? Oh, come on. You know I can't stand it when Ricky starts talking about how girls are so prissy and no fun. Are you sure you want to go paint Molly with the boys? You've never been. How hard could it be? Bethany, I'm just worried. Because whenever you challenge the boys to some new activity, we always get into some sort of trouble. No, we don't. We always have fun. Let's see. Do you happen to remember the time when we went dirt biking with the boys and I fell off the back of the bike and into the mud because you couldn't drive the bike? Or how about the time when we had to find 20 worms in the dirt and I got bit by some strange bug? Or how about the time when we had to race them across the lake and I nearly drowned? Naturally, something always happens to me and that's why you think it's no big deal. What was that bug that bit you anyway? Bethany, stay on the subject! <sighs> okay, okay, you do have a point, but this time I will make sure nothing bad happens to you. Besides, it was a dare. If we don't go, they'll bother us months about it. No, they'll bother you, not me. You're the one who opened your big mouth and told them we both go. I just went along with it because I didn't want to look stupid. Oh, quit complaining. It'll be fun. Okay, let's compromise. Okay. Let's make them do an activity with us that they think is weird. Like what? Like going to the English tea room with us for lunch one day. We should make them get all dressed up in a coat and tie too because they would hate that. Yeah, I can just see them there now meeting us at the place, complaining about how dress clothes are so uncomfortable and how they hope none of their guy friends see them there with us. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get back in there now and tell the boys that the only way we'll go paintballing with them is if they go to the tea room with us. You've got a deal.